I'm Ms. Artastic, and in this video drawing tutorial, we're going to be drawing a really overly tired grizzly bear. Yeah, overly tired! So grab something to draw with, something to color with, and let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, we're gonna be drawing a bear, so you can grab something to draw with, a mark maker, and then you can pick what you want to use to color with, and we're gonna begin and drawing a bear. All right. Let's do its head. We're going to start off with a curving line on the right side of your page. And from there, we're going to draw two curving lines to make bear's ears. We'll bring two zigzag lines down on either side and connect at the bottom to make the head. And we're going to have it lying face down on the ground here. All right, we're gonna do one big paw with a U shape and another at the back. We're also gonna have one sneaking out here at the front. We'll add a few lines on each one to create some kind of crazy claws. Oh yeah. All right. We're gonna make it like a face down grizzly bear. So we're gonna go up and create a hump. They have a hump on their back with some zigzag lines. And we'll do some bigger fuzzies. Go on the back, just like that. Big belly, connected at the bottom. Anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. And of course, you can always go back and rewatch any step as many times as you would like. All right, give bear a little tail. I like to draw little curving lines in each ear to do the inner ear. All right, we're gonna do an awfully stunned bear. Maybe it just realized it has to wake up and venture out from hibernation or it was woken up from a crazy nightmare. I don't know, but we're gonna do something like that. So we're gonna draw an upside down triangle for a nose and I like to color it in, leaving just a little white at the top for the shine of light. Cause look how cool that looks, right? For the eyes, we're gonna do one big circle on either side, right beside the nose. You can see it's at the same height, it's not higher. I've brought them down like that. All right, now we're gonna go around and we're gonna thicken up the outside of the eye and then leave this really big white pupil so it's looking rather shocked. Okay, now we're gonna do a big wide upside down you or big rainbow line curving arch. We're gonna curve it in the corners, bring it up and connect. Add some zigzag lines at the top and of course they're sharp teeth because it's a bear. I'm gonna have a tongue just peeking out in the inside. Now I'm gonna color in the dark of my mouth so you can see what it's gonna look like. It'll make it a little easier to see. And you can color in the dark of your mouth as well. Remember not to color the teeth or the tongue. I know it's a little tricky. Doot, doot, doot. Oh yeah! Look at that bear. Crazy guy. All right, let's add some texture with some zigzaggies. So it looks extra fuzzy, because it's a bear, hello. Once you're done, you're ready to color in your exasperated bear. <laughs> Grab your favorite mark making mediums and go ahead and color it in.
once you're done coloring in your bear, your lovely bear drawing is done. Well, that's it for this episode. Please make sure that you subscribe to the channel, Ms. Artstastic. And if you create anything and share it online on social media, please, please, I would love to see it. So take me at Ms. Artastic and I will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag, hashtag Ms. Artastic. And I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic. YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode and I will see you in the next.